What are you doing? Get my friend out of here, you nutcase. <laughs> okay, that was a little less dramatic than I had expected. Whoa! What? It didn't work? Very weird. <laughs> Attention, citizens. This is an Omega One priority alert. Potentially disruptive nonconformists are loose in the courthouse. Please return to your home until the situation has been resolved. Okay. What was Edna doing to you? What the heck was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. Hey, it's my mom. Hey. Don't talk to her. She could give us away. Why'd you marry Edna anyway? No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's... she's kind of crazy. Yes, now. But back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. Whoa. I guess. What do we do now? What do we do now? Now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Uh oh. Whoa! Alright, Dad. Where's the DeLorean anyway? Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why? Is that significant? Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so, yeah. Fascinating. Uh-oh. Mom! Dad! No! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. Looks like the coast is clear. Great! Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Citizen Brown? Emmett? Uh, wait for Citizen Brown to repair to Lauren. I mean, do I literally have to wait? Citizen Brown sure is taking a while. Maybe you should look for him. He's not ah. coming back, you know. What are you talking about? Emmett. Without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built! I inspired him to do bad things, kid was doing great things. Uh yeah, you've
inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. Mmm, Skipper was doing great things without you. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. What? Yeah, well, he did that, too. And finally, Doc's Not voice. the only inspiration of Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. It worked! Ha ha! One second I'm in the present, the next I'm six months in the past! Amazing! Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. Again! Was it for this moment. Ah! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. Oh, blow it out of your exhaust, poor dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... Ah! Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe? That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration on the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous house. Why do we keep going back to this stupid time period? God. I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Leave. I'll ruin you, Emmett! I run this town. Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. This is where I last saw him. You. Teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Ugh. Luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there. I mean, our relationship never moves beyond the hand-holding stage. Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. What about it? I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in 71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, remember Public Enemy? Why, you dirty rat, no good yellow belly stool? It never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. Okay, hold on.